according to the scriptures, what is in the earth as far as how God does things must match what is in heaven. This is what he told Moses. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 4, For if he were on the earth, he should not be a priest, seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law, who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things. As Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle, for see, saith he, meaning God, that thou make all things according to the pattern showed to thee in the mount. So here we have God telling Moses, Moses, I'm going to give you the length, I'm going to give you the width, the breadth, I'm going to tell you what curtains to use, I'm going to tell you what kind of wood to use, you're going to do this and overlay it with gold cell. I want and you to do it find exactly out is, is that the, the way that I instruct the you. I want you to follow it to the, human the letter, cell. Moses. Match because what's on this earth must match what's in the heaven. Design, the layout, when God says that he dwells in numbers, heaven, and there is a temple, a tabernacle of God in heaven, from it has the an will ark in it, Look, the ark of a covenant, another the old teaching covenant. that we're going to do. I've already the done new covenant, a couple everlasting of videos on this, promises. Jesus Christ, DNA, and the Holy what Bible. God dwells in, in heaven. Twice. If God desires to dwell here on this earth, then he must dwell in a temple. Number one, it's not made with hands. Number two, must match down here what is seen in heaven. So take a look. Here's our graphic of the wilderness tabernacle. You see the wall around the tabernacle structure itself called the courtyard. You see there in the middle, there is an altar uh, where they would lay the sacrifices on. There is a brass laver, a wash basin. And then you have the sanctuary with the holy place and the most holy place. And that, that pillar of cloud that you see, it was a pillar of fire by night, was God's visible presence. Now take a look at this. This is an artist's rendering of the human cell. And what we find out is, is that the components and the design of the human cell match perfectly with the design, the layout, the numbers, everything from the wilderness tabernacle matches exactly what is in practically every cell in our body. Here's a comparison. You have the courtyard. You have a curtain that surrounds that courtyard. We're going to talk about that. That is the cell wall or the cell membrane. You have an altar where they brought uh, sacrifices in, laid them in all, on that altar and burnt them. That is in the cell that corresponds to the mitochondria. We're going to talk about that as well. And then you have something that every cell needs, and that is a nucleus. You have the nucleus of the cell. You have what is the heart of the tabernacle structure itself, which is the sanctuary and the most holy place. And in the most holy place, you have a copy of the book that God gave to Moses. Moses wrote every instruction out, every single one of them he wrote in a book. And every day when the Levite priest gave attendance to the service of the Lord in the tabernacle, they were told to do it exactly by the book. Likewise, you have in your cells, in your body, your skin cells, some of your blood cells, red blood cells don't have it, but in a lot of your blood, a lot of your blood cells, in um, all kinds of cells, the cells that make up your liver, your stomach, your kidney, your bones, uh, your toenails, your fingernails, things like that. Those cells all contain a nucleus, and in that nucleus is a book. That is another teaching that we're going to do. I've already done couple of videos on this, Jesus Christ DNA and the Holy Bible. I've done that video twice. Probably going to redo it again, visit some new information that I have about that and how DNA works. But basically, just as there was a roll of a book in the most holy place, in the Ark of the Covenant, that specified every single thing that was to go on in that tabernacle, there is an instruction book inside of the nucleus of the cell that dictates every Thing that happens in your body. It, you could say that it's done by the book. Ex 